Okie dokie, it is time for the rhythm of the day. Whoop, whoop. And noticing our rhythm today, there is one element that we did not have last week, and that would be our ticka ticka. Most of you should be pretty familiar with a ticka ticka, but let's remind ourselves, shall we? A ticka ticka is the fastest rhythm that we've talked about in our class. And so a ticka ticka is four times as fast as a ta. Right, so if I have four ta's, it sounds like this, ta, 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 ta. But if I have four ticka tickas, it sounds like this, ticka, 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 ticka. So there's four ticka tickas inside one ta, which is pretty cool. It moves really fast. So try, try four ticka tickas with me, but we'll do it kind of slow. Remember that I snap for them, but it's not like you have to do an exact snap for every sound. It's more like kind of pretending because it's really fast snapping. Okay, four ticka tickas, ready? Here you go, it's ticka 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 ticka. We got it, folks. And hopefully we should remember all of the other elements that we talked about last week. So let's try this. I'm going to speak this first line. You get to speak it back to me, ready? My turn. T T ticka ticka ta. My turn for line two. To T T T T. My turn. Ticka ticka ta ta. T T to ta. Nice. We do okay. We got it. Eh? Mostly. All right. Can we do the whole thing? Bum, bum, bum. Sure we can. Okay, from the top, people, a one. Oh, sorry, something on my throat. A one, a two, and ready, here we go. It's T T ticka ticka ta. To T T T T ticka ticka ta ta T T to ta. Let's Bring it backwards, ready? Reverse, here you go. Ta, to, ti, ti, ta, ta. Ticka, ticka, ti, 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 to. Ta, ticka, ticka, ti, ti. Nice, sounds good, people. Let's try one more quick thing. We're gonna go straight through, but then when we get to the very end, we're gonna go straight into backwards mode. So like this last note, or this last line would look like this. T, T, to, ta, ta, to, and it would go right into backwards mode, okay? Straight through forward and back. Let's do this. We've got it, We. Okay, ready? One, a two, and here we go. T, T, ticka, ticka, ta, to, T, 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 ticka, ticka, ta, ta, T T to ta backwards ta to T T ta ta ticka ticka T T T T to ta ticka ticka T T. We do okay? Eh? Mostly? Nice job, people. Alrighty, third graders, it is getting into the fall season, isn't it? Leaves are blowing everywhere. I see pumpkin spice everywhere in the store. It is clearly the fall. So we're gonna be singing some fall songs in the next weeks. And a lot of you are gonna recognize these songs because if you remember last year when you were third graders, we did an entire concert that was all autumn songs, right? So. I just want to kind of sing through some of those songs again just because A, it's the fall season, and B, they were super duper fun songs. Now if you're a fourth grader this year and you're new, you didn't have me last year, don't worry about it. They're really super easy songs and we're truly just singing through them just for the fun of it. So today we have a song called Autumn Leaves. A lot of you will remember it. It's also a very simple tune. Let me sing it for you. Sing with me if you know it at home. Ready? Autumn leaves are in the air, 
Floating, flying everywhere. Autumn leaves are in the air. Try to catch them if you dare. Now, if you were here, I would ask you the question of whether or not you heard a, of a line of this song that was completely different than the others. But since you're not actually here with me, I'm just going to give you the answer. The fourth line sounds totally different because the sound moves down, the notes move down, and all of these other lines, do, 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 they're all rising. Okay, so that's the difference between the lines there. These three are all rising lines and this one goes down. So this time as we sing the song, can you draw the shape of the line with your hand? Ready? Autumn leaves are in the air, floating, flying everywhere. Autumn leaves are in the air, try to catch them if you dare. Beautiful. Okay, let's try this. How about, notice how I've underlined with three lines on every one of these lines. Can you clap those parts? Ready? Here we go. Autumn leaves are in the air, floating, flying everywhere. Autumn leaves are in the air, try to catch them if you dare. Nice. How about, let's sing our song one more time just for the fun of it. And how about you can choose whether you'd like to do the claps or whether you'd like to draw the lines. It's totally up to you. I think I'm going to draw the lines, but you can do what you'd like. Ready? Here we go. Autumn leaves are in the air, floating, flying everywhere. Autumn leaves are in the air, try to catch them if you dare. Beautiful singing, fourth grade. So, I don't know about you, but sitting around in front of a computer screen all day, it gets kind of boring after a while. And we all know that it's really super important to get up and move. So, here's one of the activities that we'll kind of do every once in a while. It's a really good music activity, but it's also got some movement to it. You might remember it from last year. It's called My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean. So first, we got to learn the song part of it, right? My turn first, you're gonna echo back. Ready? My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. So bring back my body to me. Let's sing that whole section, ready? My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. So bring back my body to me. Okay, there's one more section, ready? My turn. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back, oh, bring back my body to me. Let's do that, uh, that bring back section, ready? Bring back, bring back, oh, bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back, oh, bring back my body to me. From the beginning, my body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. So bring back my body to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me. Now, by the way, folks, this is a song from Scotland, in case you didn't know. And in Scotland, when they say Bonnie, they're talking about something that's beautiful. So they're talking about my Bonnie is someone that they love that's far, far away across the sea. And so they want to get them back. So that's what they're talking about. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mrs. Ethier, you said this was a movement activity. I'm right with you. 
I'm with you, okay? Here comes the movement part, okay? I gotta get to the edge of my chair. Now the important thing is for this activity, you do need to be sitting in some sort of a chair would be the best way to do it because you're gonna be getting up and down and up and down lots of times. And in fact, let me tell you how to do it here. You get up and down based on whether or not a word starts with B. So whenever a word starts with B, you have to change positions from either sitting or standing. Can I give you a super quick example? My Bonnie lies over the ocean. My Bonnie lies over the sea. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. So bring back my Bonnie to me. Uh, we got it. Are we on the same train of thought here? Can we try it? By the way, there are a lot of them, especially in the bring back, bring back, go bring back my bunny to me. You're gonna be going up and down, okay? Deep breaths, people. We're gonna take it really slow. Ready? My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. So bring back my bunny to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me. How'd you do? Eh? Let's do it faster. Okay, ready? My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. So bring back my body to me. Bring back. Bring back, oh bring back my bunny to me, to me. Bring back, bring back, oh bring back my bunny to me. Do you think we can do it faster? I don't know if my legs can take it, but we're gonna try it anyway. Whew. Let's do this, people, ready? My body lies over the ocean, my body lies over the sea, my body lies over the ocean, so bring back my body to me. Bring back, bring back, oh bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back, oh bring back my body to me. Oh. Whew. Well done, people. Go take a drink of water, that's what I'm gonna do. Okie dokie folks, so our next job is to kind of review a few things that you've probably done with me in the past, especially for my fourth and fifth graders. Most of you will have talked about instrument families with me before. I want to review it with you quickly because there's going to be kind of a fun, creative little assignment that you get to do at the end. So we're talking a little bit about our instrument families. Hopefully you remember that there are four instrument families, right? We have string, we have brass, we have woodwind and percussion. Those are the four families. So let's discuss them really quick. First, here's the string family. You'll notice when looking at these pictures that interestingly enough, all the instruments have strings and that's how they make their sound, right? That's what makes them a family. Now they may be played a little bit differently, right? Like the violin and the cello, they're played with a bow that goes across the strings. Um, guitar can be played with your fingers, or sometimes people use a little plastic pick, right? And a lot of times you use your fingers as well for the harp, okay? But strings, right? They all have strings. Let's look at the next one. Ah, percussion. Percussion's a little bit different because as you look at these pictures, the instruments do not really look very similar, do they? But that's okay, they're all still part of the percussion family. The thing about percussion is, it's anything that you have to hit, shake, or scrape to make sound equals a percussion instrument. So piano, for instance, you have to hit or tap the keys to make sound. Or maracas, you have to shake them. Drums, we know we have to hit those, of course, right? And this is a guiro, which maybe you've seen in my class and maybe you haven't, I do have some. It's a scraping instrument. And I do have, most of you have seen my little frog. Even though he doesn't look like that guiro, he is a guiro. Because see the little spines on his back? When I play, he's a scraper, which makes him a percussion instrument, just like all of these, okay? So there's your percussion. They're kind of an interesting family of lots of different kinds of instruments. Then we have brass. 
Now, as you look at these, you're gonna say, wow, those look pretty similar in a lot of ways, right? So common things about brass instruments would be, A, you have to blow into them to make sound, of course. B, they're all made of brass, duh. <laughs> and C, they all have these cool bells. They call them bells, not like a ding ding bell. Uh, but they call this a bell, and that's where the sound comes from. All of these instruments have those things in common, and they're played with a mouthpiece as well. You can kind of see that in the picture. So they have a lot of common things. Some of them, or most of them, I should say, have um, valves that you have to push down, like the trumpet and the tuba and the French horn, too, have valves. And the trombone has the slide back and forth that changes the sound. So that makes trombone a little bit different. But do you also notice that there's all these um, kind of tubes that are twisted around, right? Especially with the French horn, you can see all these kind of things twisted around that make the sound. So that's our brass family. They're very cool. They make a big brassy sound, don't they? All right, and then one final family is the woodwinds, bum, bum, bum. The woodwinds are another kind of interesting family because as you look at these, they don't really look that similar, but they do have some similarities. A, you have to blow into them to make sound. Um, B, at least for these three instruments, so a saxophone, a clarinet, and a bassoon, they all have something called a reed that you blow. Whoops, where is it? There it is. Um, it has a reed that you blow. Okay, and then here, you're just blowing in here to the hole and pressing the different valves, right? They have some similarities, but there's going to be some different kind of woodwind instruments too. This one, by the way, saxophone, probably to your eyes is looking a little bit like a um, brass instrument. It's not. Even though it looks like it, even though it has a bell on the end, even though it's made of brass, it has a reed, and that makes it not so brassy. Okay, but anyway, there's your woodwind family. So we talked about all four, right? We had string, we had percussion, we had brass, we had woodwind. So here is my challenge to you, fourth and fifth graders. Boom, boom, boom. It's gonna be a fun challenge. Don't freak out on me, it's gonna be okay. What I'd love for you to try and do is draw me a picture of something, okay? Now what I want you to do is imagine for a second I don't know if everybody has seen this before, but I think a lot of people have. It's something called a one-man band, where a person has tons of stuff all strapped to him, and there are all these different instruments that you can play, and he can kind of make his own band just by playing all those different instruments. Maybe you've seen that, maybe you haven't. But my challenge to you is to create a new instrument, a totally pretend fictional instrument, okay? And I will want you to try to incorporate all four of those families into your instrument. So have some sort of percussion element and some sort of brass part and some sort of woodwind thing to, so that you can take that instrument and have all four families as part of it. It's kind of a tricky assignment, isn't it? But it's, it's also really fun. So I just want you to kind of explore and have fun with it. Okay, it might be helpful to maybe write some descriptions on it, just, just in case when I look at your picture, if I can't, you know, tell a few things. Um, it, it's always helpful to write a couple words like, this is the brass part, or this is the woodwind part, just so I can see it. But I'm really curious to see what you come up with. I think it's gonna be really super fun. Make sure, folks, that when you submit stuff, that you put it in directly into the assignment section, either in a private comment or you can um, upload the picture onto the assignment section, not into the comment section, please. Okie dokie. I hope you have a wonderful week, everybody. Bye-bye.